Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I have gotten some name suggestions from you guys on what to name our baby girl. So if you guys are new to my channel I'm a mum to a 23 month old little boy called Cole and I'm 29 weeks pregnant with my second child which is a baby girl. So I'm going to go through your suggestions and give my opinion on the names that you have suggested. Do not get offended, this is just purely my opinion and I'm not doing this to send any hate to anybody that has called their child any of these names. I'm just personally going to say whether I like them or not and if I would consider ever calling my child that name. So let's get straight into the video. Ava. The first thing that springs to mind when this name is mentioned is Ava from Dance Mums. If you guys have never watched Dance Mums, you probably don't know who Ava is. But, yeah, I don't... I don't know. I don't know if I like this name or if I don't like this name. I think it's one of those that I think I'm just kind of going to be a little bit on and off about and I'm constantly going to change my mind on whether I like it or not so to be honest with this name I actually don't know all that springs to mind is the girl from Dance Mums Isla Rose I do like the name Isla I know quite a few people called Isla which I don't like to name my children and very popular names and I feel like Isla is one of those names that is really popular off the top of my head I know three people called Isla and it doesn't sound like there's loads and loads of people out there. I know there is quite a few people out there with that name. So for me personally, I don't think it's a name that I would use just because it's quite popular. And I like to be different and have names that people haven't really heard of. Either. Again, really don't want to offend anybody when I say this, but I watch James and Karis and they have a dog called Mila. So that is the first thing that popped into my head when I heard that name and I don't think I'd ever call my child that because I've just got the vision of a dog in my head Isabella I don't know how I feel about the name Isabella but I like the name Isabel again probably wouldn't call my child Isabel because again it's a really common name and it's really heard of but I do like the name Isabel Isabella I don't really know I feel like this is probably something if I was for example if I was to call my little girl Isabel, I'd probably call her Isabella as like a nickname maybe. Phoebe. No, this this name just doesn't really doesn't really sit with me. Maybe. I've never ever heard of that name before, ever. So I definitely do not think I'd call my child that. I've never heard of that name. And I know I just said that I like names that are uncommon and not heard of. But again, I've literally not heard of this name at all. It just would never be something that I would name my child. Evie May. Um, it doesn't... Again, this one doesn't sit with me either. I don't think I would call my child either May either. Or any May either. <laughs> I'm getting my words mixed up now. I wouldn't call my child either May. Nor would I call my child Evie. Oh, wait, I'm getting so confused. Right, okay. They've said Evie May. Right, let me get the right. Evie May, not Ava. Evie May. Right. <laughs> so, Evie May. I would not call my child this just because it just doesn't sit with me. Not that it isn't a nice name because it is a very nice name. I could imagine a toddler with this name and it would just be really cute, really nice. But for me, it just doesn't sit with me. And the fact that it's Evie May... It does go, but I just feel like it wouldn't be a combination that I put together. Freya. No, no. This isn't another name that I would call my child either. I don't know. It's just... I feel like I can be quite picky with names. And not anything against the name Freya, but I just can't see myself naming my child that. Holly. No. Again, I feel like the majority of my answer is going to be no. This isn't me being picky. I'm just kind of just saying whether I would name my child this or not. Uh, but yeah, Holly definitely is not up there. On my list of names, it's just one of those names. Again, it's, Holly is just so overpopular. And I definitely do not want to name my child something that popular. 
because I feel like there's a lot of names out there, isn't there, that's really, really common, like Molly, Holly, Georgia, things like that. They're so, so common. And I just wouldn't want to name my child something really, really common. Daisy. Daisy is a really, really pretty name. And it definitely isn't something I would completely rule out calling my child because I do really like that name. But I just don't think that it would be a name that I'd consider, even though I've just said I would never rule it out, which I would never rule out calling my child Daisy because, again, I do really like that name. But I don't think it would be in my top list of names to name my child Poppy. That name does not sit with me at all. I could definitely not imagine myself calling my child Poppy. Again, it is so popular. Like, uh, I personally, from my personal I've seen called Poppy, it just wouldn't be a name that I would call my child. Rosie. My cat is called Rosie, actually. So, no. I would not call my child Rosie. Amelia. Amelia is such a pretty name, like I do really like that. Obviously I do know people called Amelia and I know there is a few Amelias out there so it maybe people class it as a popular name but I do like it. I don't think it's overly common to the point where I would completely avoid calling my child that and it's not that I've got anything against popular names like that but I just personally try to go for a name that isn't as common because I just think that's that's just the way I like to go about it. Primrose. Primrose actually reminds me of a character of Fifi. And again, I'm really not trying to offend anyone in this video. I'm just trying to literally give my honest opinion on what I think of these names. And if I would ever call my child this. So no, I would never call my child Primrose. Just because it gives me ultimate Fifi vibes. Ellie. I do like the name Ellie. Um, again... It's a very popular name, I would say. There's a lot, a lot of people I know called Ellie. So I don't think that it is something I'll call my child. But again, it is one of those names that I definitely wouldn't rule out. But it wouldn't be my top priority to name my child Ellie. Georgia. Georgia is a really pretty name. Again, same as Ellie. I wouldn't rule it out. But I don't think it would be in my top priority list for me to call my child Georgia. Somebody else recommended Callie. I don't really think Callie sits with me, to be honest. I don't think it's really a name that I'm actually quite fond of, to be honest. And there's so many reasons for this. But I just don't think that Callie really sits with me. It's just one of those names that I just don't think would ever be something that I would name my child. I think people assume that like when you have two kids, like you've got to make the names go together which that doesn't really bother me like if my kids names don't go together then that doesn't matter i'm naming my child whatever i want to name my child i'm not naming them depending on what they're i'm not naming my child so they match their other sibling do you know what i mean at the end of the day they're just gonna have names that i like the idea of and that i like not names to match each other because i feel like i don't know they're just like I don't know, I feel like that would be me, I don't know, it's, it's a really hard one, I find it really hard to like explain myself, but hopefully you understand what I mean, I just wouldn't want to do a name like that similar, do you know what I mean, Callie and Cole, I feel like that is quite similar and it does go together because they sound, not, they don't sound the same, but they both start with a C and they sound similar in a way. So, personally for me, I don't think Callie would be a name for me. One, because it's just not the name, it's just not the type of name that I actually like in general. Not that I am judging anybody that is called Callie. But, again, I don't know, it's just not, no, let's just leave it at that. Because I'm just going to confuse myself whatever I'm saying. I don't think that's going to be an option for me. Esme. Esme for me is actually a really nice name. I definitely will not rule out calling my child Esme. I think it's very different and I actually don't hear of many Esmes around. Other people might have, but I personally haven't. So that is something that also draws me more towards a name. If I've not heard it very often, if at all, then that, what, that makes me want to call my child Esme more. So this will definitely be considered 100% May. This is a name, personally, 
that I think you would find an older person called. So, I don't know, 50 plus maybe. Like, I would come across more maids that are 50 plus than people that are like a newborn baby. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like that's why I'm not feeling the vibes of that name, really. Tara. No, so that name doesn't sit with me either. I need a name that's going to give me... That I'm really going to really like the sound of. And I feel like I'm being really picky in this video. But honestly, personally, I just don't think Horace stands out for me either. It's just one of those names that just... I don't think I'd ever have in my list of names. Pippa. No. Again, it reminds me of Pepper, and I have a child currently that is obsessed with Peppa Pig. So, Pippa and Pepper sound very similar to me, and I think it would just make her more obsessed with Peppa Pig if I was around the house all day saying Pippa, Pippa. So, yeah, don't think Pippa's going to be on my list. Harriet. I do like Harriet, but I feel like it's one of those names that sounds really strict. I don't know if that's just me, but it actually does seem like one of those names that sounds really straight. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's something. I feel like it's a name that's very sophisticated, if that's the right word to use. I think that's why I wouldn't use it. I don't know. I feel like Harriet's just too, maybe too posh. For us, maybe. Aria. I do like the name Aria because it's very different and I don't really think I've heard of that name very often, if at all. So that definitely does sit really well with me, for sure. Dulce. I don't know if she was meant to put Dulce or Dulce. Either way, none of them names really sit with me just because I have heard quite a few people call their child that and I just don't think it's something that... I would personally name my child as well. And then the last one is Darcy. I don't really like the name Darcy. I feel like, again, it's like the Harriet name. I feel like it's just too proper. And it just seems a little bit posh. And on that kind of side. And you know their names where you just think they sound like really simple and really nice. Like, I don't know, like Georgia and Molly. They sound like really nice and normal. And then you have your other names that I feel like feel a little bit like on the posh side. Do you know what I mean? Like Harriet and Darcy. I feel like they do sound quite, quite mature and proper. I don't think those types of names are for me. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy hearing my opinions on all of those people's names. Again, I'm not here to offend anyone in any way. That is not my intention. I'm just trying to... My opinion on the names you guys have suggested. Thank you so much to everybody that did send in name rec recommendations. I do really appreciate it. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, please smash a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would be extremely grateful. And if you haven't already, please click that notification bell and notify every single time I upload a video. And I'll see you on my next video.